Okay, let's get started. If this is the first time dropping into our channel, uh, welcome. So I'm um, out here today outside of Amboy, California. Uh, fantastic site. Um, Christian and I have been here for the last uh, two nights. This two nights. is Christian Ralph. Um, and uh, Patrick Kerrigan was here uh, for two nights, but he had to return home. And that's Patrick, uh, Patrick's Astro and stuff. He's got a YouTube channel. You might want to check that out. And um, I want to thank Christian for uh, his willingness to do this video because I've been seeing that he's been using SV Boney uh, equipment and gear, and I've been watching the images that he's producing uh, with this, uh, with their uh, line of uh, telescopes, and I, I've really been impressed. Been impressed. So I wanted to find out a little bit uh, from Christian about how he got involved with SV Boney and what his ex experience has been, and then what are we looking at here as far as this uh, the scope that he's got on his uh, mount right now. So Christian, why don't you? Uh, yeah, hi, Give thanks, thanks, overview. Bill. Um, how, how did I get started with SV Boney? Well, as I was getting into astrophotography and doing some research, I uh, was looking at the usual suspects, uh, Skywatcher, Orion, all these different manufacturers, and I was looking around trying to figure out which one is right for me. So I ended up reaching out via email to Skywatcher, Orion, SV Boney. SV Boney instantly responded back with a telephone number and I called him. And from that day on, about three years ago, um, I was sold just on the customer service of SV Boney, um, how they treat their customers. And when I got my first scope, a lot smaller than this, it was a 80 millimeter doublet, I'm really impressed with it. So um, about six months ago, they reached out to me and asked me if I could do some uh, testing on the new SV Boney 550 122 millimeter scope. And obviously I said, sure, I would love to do that. And uh, can I ask, I, yeah. I, I think your progression of scopes was similar to mine with the uh, William Optics Xenostar Z61 as your first scope. Started with the Xenostar 61, which was a doublet refractor, bought a SV Boney 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter doublet refractor and immediately noticed how much better the SV Boney was in comparison to that one. Now, in fairness, that scope had some issues with chromatic aberration um, throughout the line, and it really wasn't anything to do with the brand. But I was instantly sold on SV Boney, the quality, the craftsmanship. More importantly than that, though, it was the customer service and it was the community support behind it. Which was sold, which I was sold on. And so uh, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to get that groundwork because I also started with the Z61, and you know I've subsequently moved to the Red Cat 51 because uh, I wanted better optics. There were some yeah. challenges from time to time with the Z61. Of so, course, yeah, 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 and that was known, and it really wasn't yeah. the fault of the manufacturer. It was just a one-off. Um, but you know, so with the SV Boney, you know, they're a some would say an entry-level scope. Um, it's a budget-friendly uh, scope. Um, you don't need to spend the big money to get good quality product. Um, and that's why I like them. If you noticed on the on the rings here, they're not the big fancy, you know, gigantic. You know, it's a small dovetail, you know, and that helps keep the cost down. But it still serves the purpose, and it, and it gets the job done. Um, Really happy so far with the performance of this thing. I've had this, well, I was doing a test on their loaner for about a month and then they finally shipped me mine. So this is my personal scope now. Still need to do some adjusting on it or whatnot, but uh, really happy with the performance so far. The, uh, the front glass here is, I mean, it's big, you know, and it gathers light really, really fast. You know. And I see you have a SV Boney uh, reducer on here. Can you talk a little bit about focal length and? Uh... So natively, the uh, it's oh man, you're gonna put me on the spot oh, here. Okay. Eight eight seventy nine to five somewhere in that range. Yeah, we'll put we'll put uh, we'll the put exact the in uh, there, yeah. information in the uh, in the video description. So being uh, sure to check that for the specs. Native with with the SV Boney 0.8 reducer it brings it down to six seventy four. 
um, and I'm shooting with the ASI 294MC Pro camera. Um, it could handle a much larger sensor than this. It could handle easily handle a full frame sensor, I think. I haven't tested it yet, though, um, but but I'm sure it can. Um, again, with the ZWO autofocuser ASI Air Pro, um, and of course my SV Boney 60 millimeter guide scope, um, sitting on an EQ6R Pro, handles it very well. The the side of the scope don't let that deter you. This thing is light. It's only 15 and a half, maybe 16 pounds. You know, um, very easy scope to handle, very easy scope to manage. If you're going from a smaller refractor to this, at first I was a little bit intimidated, but let me tell you that this works just like its smaller brother. It's, it's a dream, you know, a smooth transition, I should say. And um, I notice here you, uh, of course, with the ASI Air, you have your tablet, you have your power station down there. And then uh, you also have your solar panels. Yep, this is my portable rig. <laughs> it's not very small, but it's portable. Um, the EB, Blue Eddy EB55, which will power this thing for two nights, no problem. Solar panel, 120 watt, will charge the EB55 back up in about four hours at, you know, peak sun sunlight. Um, does a really, really nice job. And uh, keep an eye out, uh, and the video may actually be up before uh, this video comes up, but uh, Christian, uh, Patrick, and I uh, kind of did a in-the-field astro chat among the three of us, and we were kind of talking about and sharing information around uh, going to a dark site, uh, trying to give out some ideas of what might work for you if it's your first time going out to a dark site, things you may want to consider. Uh, we talked a little bit about the equipment that we bring with us and, and those type of things, so you might want to uh, check that video out as well. Um, I, I, see a, I see a speaker down here. <laughs> this is just the uh, is that... <laughs> just the fun for perks. You know, yeah. we uh, listen to gospel all night long. Yeah, and, uh... <laughs> yeah it's actually kind of nice to be out uh, with you know, music in the background here while, while we're imaging and everything. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, I understand you're thinking about getting up here uh, for... Yeah, so my other scope is the 80 millimeter, which is about this length right here with a camera. You know, being this big and this long, you know, I run the problem of possibly running into the legs at time. So Skywatcher makes a peer extension that will go underneath here, raise it up about 12 inches, 14 inches. I think in that range, Give yeah. or take, yeah. you know, which will give me a lot more flexibility with shooting at the zenith, doing meridian flips, and not worrying about hitting the legs of the scope. So um, I don't want to take the words out of your mouth, but it seems like you were really attracted to SV Boney uh, due to their response as far as their customer service. So that kind of what really got you interested originally. Originally, yes. And yeah. then as you checked them out, you saw, uh, got an understanding of what their product line was and uh, the uh, pricing looked uh, reasonable to you within your within your budget or? The, number one, it was, you know, their customer service. That's what, that's yeah. what got me. Once I realized, once I f received my first telescope, you know, at that price range compared to a comparable name brand, I had some questions, you know. Once I got it, tried it out, the build quality on this is just as good as anything out there. Um, and yeah, I, I, I just can't say enough about SV Boney. They do a fantastic job with their build. And like I said, they don't go crazy on these things, which helps keeps that cost down, the tube rings, the dovetail. It's not a big Losmandi uh, dovetail. Yeah. You know, so you're saving 150 bucks there. You're saving 150 bucks here. And that's keeping the cost of this total thing. And this is what does the work anyway. This is where you're, you're getting your bang for the buck. So yeah, can't say enough about the community, the Facebook page, SV Boney Telescope on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, they, you know, they just do a really good job. Really happy with them. And I want to make it clear, this uh, video is not sponsored by anybody. It's nope. really just us and Christian's thoughts on his use of the product. So uh, 
And I had an interest in doing this video with Christian because I was unfamiliar with this brand. And again, as I say, I've been looking at the images he's been producing and they really caught my eye. And so I wanted to just try and share with others in the audience uh, that may be viewing this that there are a range of price points uh, that you can uh, use to enter into this hobby if you're thinking about doing that or maybe you want to upgrade uh, from a uh, from a, a, a wider field uh, focal length to a more uh, longer focal length and you might want to check out SV Boney uh, again uh, that's the, the whole purpose of this video so um, any last thoughts or anything uh... final thoughts I'd just like to say thank you to Bill you know, enjoy You're coming welcome. out and imaging with you, spending some time, having fun. Thank you to SV Boney. Got to mention Skywatcher. Yeah. Know, oh. Some of the best rounds yeah. in the business, you know. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, just really happy. Thanks for watching. You know, thanks for listening. So uh, just to close out, I met Christian at uh, GMARS, Goat Mountain right. Astronomical Research Station in Landers, California. That's when I first met him. And I think Patrick was out that weekend. Patrick was there. And, uh, you know, it's been a few months, but in, an opportunity came up to catch up with these guys. Uh, they live in the Los Angeles area, so these sites that they're visiting are, are close for them, relatively close for them, and it takes them to a, a darker sky than uh, the Los Angeles area. So I've been uh, very fortunate, and I want to thank you, Christian, and Patrick, if you're viewing this, you know, for letting me tag along with you guys. It's really... It's a lot of fun when you go out as a group. And uh, yeah. I know you have some thoughts on a solo uh, astrophotographer, right? You're not afraid to go out on oh, your own. I go out on my own yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and some nights you just go out for one night to maybe Red Rock or some area like that. Red Rock, edge of Death Valley. Yeah. I'll go out for one night. L nice thing about L.A. is you're not far from a good site. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do it for a night. I'll do it for two nights. I'll do it for three nights by myself, with friends, you know, every time it's fun. So. And uh, I tell you, with friends, uh, you know, even last night, because I, I'm, I've got a new AM5 mount, Patrick was able to help me. Uh, some things I was unsure about that on setting the azimuth and locking everything down, he was there. So if you haven't tried imaging with friends out in a dark uh, remote site, you might want to put it on your list of things to do even though you may be totally comfortable in your backyard, you can have a lot of fun uh, coming out and uh, just experiencing what it's like in a, in a darker a, side. Just a side note on that, it took me a year to get Patrick out of his backyard. Yeah. Now he won't image yeah. in his backyard. So. Yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a Bortle <laughs> One snob now. He's, uh, we're we're, we're kind of kidding about that, but he's really interested. I tell him he should start a YouTube channel saying... Uh, the the search for 22 you know on on the sky quality meter he wants yeah. he wants to find that 22 <laughs> that border one so all right well i think that's about it we may do a quick thing so keep an eye out for a video um christian's got a very unique tent uh that works out very well for him when he's out here uh um you know imaging and so we're going to do a really short video on that but we wanted to show that because of its uniqueness all right christian we'll uh We'll close everything down. Thank you for uh, sharing us uh, your experience with SV Boney and uh, your thoughts on, on their product. And um, any last thoughts before we close? Thank you, Bill. All right. Well, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, wherever you may be in the world, we hope nothing but clear skies. See you next time.